Welcome to Gas Up the Pacer. I'm Armando. That's Lou. This is our Dolphin Show, people. We uh, were fresh off the bye. They got some rest. We got some rest. Everybody's all rested up. We're ready to play the Jets <laughs> this weekend. Um, I know last week Lou decided to, you know, put my shit out there because I said I called the Jets a bye. If you look at the spread this week, Vegas also agrees with me. Um, but we okay. we have we have what people would call a problem. I don't see it as such. But our entire running back room, Miles Gaskin, um, Ahmed, uh, Philip Lindsay now, they're they've all tested positive for COVID. Um so I'm actually hoping the only ones that haven't tested positive for COVID, Duke Johnson, and they have uh, Jared Dokes, who's on the practice squad, who they'll probably call up. But the running backs are vaccinated, so they got time to clear the, the COVID protocol and play in this game. With that being said, I don't think it matters because the Dolphins don't run the ball nearly damn enough to have this matter whatsoever. So you you over now listen, you overlooking the Jets. You you can't do that. They're bad. Who's, the Jets are bad. Who's the overlooking the Jets? The yes. I'm not saying they're gonna win by a hundred. I'm not I'm not saying they're gonna win by a hundred. I couldn't care less about the team struggling. The Jets are a bad football team. Um they have a, a, a rookie head coach. Um, I actually do like their head coach. But again, he kind of stepped in. Whoever stepped into that Jets job, just it didn't matter who it was, man. You're, you're stepping in to they just threw they gave you a grenade and told you to go over there. Like that's what happens when you become the head coach of the Jets. It's a bad situation that you need to make better. You stepped into um, you stepped into a pallet dog shit. Yeah. Th- that's it. And yeah. and you're not going to make it better with Zach Wilson. It, that's just not going to happen. Um, there was so many other but do, things. But do we know that yet? No. No, I'm not. I, I'm going to say no, because if I say yes, I become one of Thank those people. You. I become one of those people that sits and shits on Tua. And, who, are, who are bashing Tua. Yes. So, so no, we don't know that yet. From what I've seen, I don't think so. But I, I reserve the right to change my mind based on what I see. So, if if he starts to play now better, that's fair enough. But also, but but you know what? Guess who he's played better all year long when he's played? He's been better than Trevor Lawrence. Yes, absolutely. The golden boy. Absolutely. He can't. You no, know, Trevor Lawrence can't miss. Oh no, he, he can't miss. When was the last touchdown pass he's thrown? Trevor Zach Trevor Wilson Lawrence has looked better than him. Yeah, Trevor Lawrence can't miss the defensive back. He's thrown a ton of picks this season. Like, and nobody, and that's that's the one <laughs> thing when when we when we always talk back and we always go back and they're like, oh, you're a Dolphins fan and you always talk about two of this, two of that. Why do people got to hate on Tua? It's reasons like this. Trevor Lawrence is having a horrible season. Is it his fault? No, he plays in Jacksonville. I'm not going to put that on him. Okay. That whole situation. Yeah. And he's got no coaching. The situation's just terrible for him. Um, There's, there isn't a whole lot for him to work with there. Uh, Travis Etienne got hurt at the beginning of the season. So, you know, you have Robinson there, but then you even have the head coach pulling him. So, as a young quarterback, there's just so many things going wrong for him. But they still don't cover the fact that he's having a horrible season. And all they want to do is talk about Tua exactly. last year, this season. They want to talk about Zach Wilson and, and you know, throw dirt on him. He's played, what, six games this season? Like, I don't think he's very good, but I didn't like him coming out of college. So, you know, I, I'm a little bit... I. I'm a little biased in, in in my opinion of him. You know who else I didn't like coming out of college? Patrick Mahomes. And he seems to be doing pretty well for himself. 
So, you know, there's you know there's... who I couldn't stand coming out of college was Justin Herbert. <laughs> Same here. Same here. I mean, <laughs> I'm still eating that crow. He sent me a bunch of them. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, neither one of us liked him coming out of college. And so what what this has all taught me is you don't know, and I don't know, and whoever's watching don't know. And you know what? Sometimes the coaches and GMs don't know either. At the end of the day, no, you have to wait, you have to wait three to five years to make a determination on a player, especially at the quarterback position. You're goddamn right. Yeah, they expedite the quarterback position because of the mo- amount of money they have to put yes. into it after that third year. Absolutely. You either have to pick up that fourth and fifth year option or you got to cut them loose. Yep. That's the problem the Giants have right now. And that problem is staring the Browns directly in the face this year. Yep. What do they do with Baker? I know this is a Miami show, so we'll keep it to Tua. I mean, but if you had to take somebody right now, who would you take, Tua or Baker? I'll sign up for Tua. I take Tua every day, day of the week. Twice on Sunday. Yep. Every day of the week and twice on Sunday. Yep. You know, so, I mean, guys like Baker have, have a rocket arm, which – fans love for some reason, but give me the accuracy. Give me the 70% completion percentage this season that two has got. I'll take that. You know what I mean? I'll take the, oh, yeah. the two to the 2000 yards passing and how many interceptions, six interceptions. I'll take those six interceptions. Every day of the week, the guy's I mean, accurate. Jamarcus, and, Russell, Jamarcus Russell had a cannon. Yeah, exactly. There's, there are quarterbacks. Does it, does it help? Yes, it absolutely helps. Thread the needle, all that stuff. But Joe Montana didn't have a big arm, and he did, he did pretty okay for himself too. So, exactly. You know, it is what it is. But you know, the the Dolphins get the Jets this week. I think Tua has a good game. If if Miami can get their receivers, Jalen Waddell is there. Gasicki's there. Uh, Devontae Parker will be there. Um, Albert Wilson, who the Dolphins finally discovered that he was on the roster over the last few weeks. Um, so that's been cool to see him uh, in the game and playing well. And and guys like, you know, these role players that you have on the team, Isaiah Ford, Mac Hollins, that are coming in and, and catching touchdowns, even though they're taking it away from my fantasy football players. You know, I give them props, and and they're coming in and right. playing the roles that they need to play. But this, and at def- the end of the day, you a Dolphins fan, you want your team to win the game before you Absolutely. worry about this fantasy football mess. Absolutely, but if I can get both, I'll be happy. <laughs> so <laughs> let's let's hope Waddle and Gasicki go off this weekend. But and on dude on the defensive side of the ball, the defense is playing well. I mean. Everybody right now is firing on all cylinders. Everything looks good. I'm hoping that this bye week helps some of these guys that are a little nicked up, especially the wide receivers, get a little bit more healthy, get back on the field. Um, but man, I mean, there and maybe the offensive line can get a little bit more coaching, and they could have looked at a little bit more film and, and maybe work on their technique a little bit because. Regardless of how everybody's playing right now, the offensive line has been an issue since week one. They have gotten better, but it's still an issue. So they just need to oh, play yeah. better. So, I mean, I'm, I'm looking. Is, this is a game for the Dolphins. That's why I, I just keep, you know, advising a little caution because this is a Dolphins team with the same talented players that they had when they lost to Jacksonville. Yes, absolutely. And the Jets are bad. Now, I don't think they're Jacksonville bad, but they are bad. Yes. And the Dolphins are still learning to win. So you can't overlook anybody. I mean, number number one, no one in the league can overlook anybody. But when you're when you're up and coming and you're trending in the right direction, don't stub your toe against the Jets. No, and no. you stub your toe against the Jags and the Falcons. Keep your focus, and this. they're not a buy for y'all. I don't give a damn what that spread say. 
you got to win the game. I I agree with you as a fan. You know, fan is short for fanatic. And normally I don't get fanatical about things. Absolutely. Um, but, you know, again, as a fan, am I overlooking the Jets? No, but I think from what I, based on what I see, that the Jets, even though they are grown men, effectively are a buy because you're not playing a team like Kansas City. And I don't give a shit what you say or what anybody else says. As a fan, I am allowed to think that way. As a player or coach, I am not That's allowed different. to think that way. So, because... That listen. is different. But, we're, but listen, with this show, you hold the hopes of millions of fans. The millions. crew. You don't lead them astray. <laughs> Keep them grounded. That's your job. And you're failing miserably. <laughs> you're going, we don't even have to show up. But they are who we thought they were. And we let them off the hook. I'm just saying, listen, this should be a win, <laughs> period. This should be a win. I'm going to watch this. Oh, it and, absolutely and should be a win. And along this five-week uh, winning streak, this five-game winning streak, this should be six. There's four games left in the season. I'm excited. If you're a Dolphins fan, you should be excited. And you should be expecting a win from Miami this weekend against the Jets as a fan, period. That's it. That's all I'm saying. And you're absolutely, you're absolutely correct. I can handle that statement. But with all the talk about the Jets being a buy. It's a joke. It's a it's a it's a joke. You don't you don't understand how serious some people take this stuff. They're going to look at you and go, "You said they were a buy." Be serious. I ain't calling the goddamn plays. I ain't strapping up the pads and going out there. If they want to get mad at me because I call it a buy, one that's on them. I already got people calling me ridiculous in the comments. Just look at the goddamn comments. You think I care? I don't care. I'm excited oh, about my right. team. Listen, when I get too negative, people are like, you oh, you're be. too negative. When I get too excited, people are like, oh, you're too excited. You know what? I'm going to be who I am. And that's emotional because I'm a fan. That's you. You go ahead, boy. That's, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just saying leave the B word out of it. And I don't mean bitches, I mean buys. <laughs> so, so they're not a buy. You got to play. You play to win the game. This Everybody be, plays. In all seriousness, the Dolphins should handle the Jets. Yes, they should. It, and coming off a buy, they can be a little sluggish. They can be a little sluggish to start. But even yeah. if they are sluggish for the first quarter, they should get their feet up under them and put up a 17 point win this weekend against the Jets. Absolutely. I totally agree. Miami right now as a team, they're they're not they're not going to be beating anybody by more than 17 points. It's just not going to happen. They're they're not they're not at that level yet. Um, but I, I'm saying this should be probably a, a, thir a 13 to 17 point win is what it should be. Um, it really it really should. I'm still looking for a full four quarters of football. I haven't seen it yet. I've seen a quarter. I've seen two. I've seen three. I've seen three in a little bit. I haven't seen a full four quarters of football by from all areas of the game yet. So I'm hoping upon all hope that against the Jets, we can see four quarters of good football and roll that into the next game that we have against Tennessee. So. But that's all. That's all yeah, I got. That, that's that all I got for lead. this week. Stop hating on Tua. Just watch the kid play and enjoy him play. Watch his team play and enjoy that's them it. play. Watching them play, and uh, you know, good luck this weekend. Wear your colors loud and proud, bro. But apparently, according to Lou, <laughs> don't call the Jets a buy. It's the only thing you're not allowed to do this weekend. No team in the NFL is a buy. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. <sighs> well, with that, do you have anything else besides the no, whole buy thing? No, okay. No. All right. <laughs> well, for Lou, I'm Armando. This is Gas Up the Pacer, and this was our Miami Dolphins show. Have a great weekend.